right, and there we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cubone. My name is Quinton. We have a few notes to go over. Before we get on to our official notes, I would like to make a note that people don't seem to realize that I think is very important. We had a major order starting last week to liberate and defend four planets for a set amount of time. At the time, I thought it was a little boring because I didn't realize what the reward was. For the four Seaf bases on Eris Pass, Vernon Wells, Heath, and Angel's Venture, as long as we maintain all four of those planets, we have a 25 percent liberation boost on all fronts right now vernon wells is sitting at just over 50 percent going gradually up we're probably not going to be able to get it anytime soon please get on and help us capture vernon wells so we can get that 25 percent liberation boost back before we lose another planet for the love of that said no patch notes this week because we do have a message from community manager twinbeard a discord user by the name aaron decca message twinbeard saying, may I ask, how is the discussion about the weapon balancing going? Will we get a patch soon, or do they still need more time? And the community manager, Twinbeard, replied, more time, we're cooking. So, no patch notes this week, no word on when to expect the next set of patch notes, but it looks like when we get them, they could be pretty big, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And one last Thing. This is a new thing that I might do, which is a Helldivers 2 clip of the week from Reddit user Tokuzan. Nice try game, you won't fool me this time. Helldivers once again showing their incredible intelligence because we are truly the smartest gamers around. Let me not set that to the stinger again. There we go. But we are officially done with the extra stuff that I was going to cover. So with that, we are moving on to our weekly recap. Not a lot of recap from last Tuesday as we began a defense on Lasoth once again, completing it rapidly between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Moving on quickly to Wednesday, I asked for Arrowhead to do something big, and by liberty, they delivered. In rapid succession, we failed to secure the anti-tank mines through the previous MO, despite our best efforts, and on Wednesday morning, a new major order was announced as Super Earth officially declared war. Mobilization across all sectors of the industry and economy has begun. Billions of able-bodied citizens from across the Federation have already volunteered for conscription. To train these new recruits, massive new facilities are being erected on a small number of lightly populated planets. The Helldivers must hold the planet's construction is completed. I presume that's meant to say the Helldivers must hold until the planet's construction is completed. For that major order, we had to hold Eris Pass, Vernon Wells, Heath, and Angel's Venture until the end of the major order. Immediately after, Vernon Wells came under attack. By the end of the night, we were holding Vernon Wells with only a slight lead and gradually taking Angel's Venture. We just had to hold them for two days to complete the major order. Overnight, we were able to take and hold Angel's Venture, but Thursday started with a surprise as Arata Prime saw the fastest bug outbreak we've ever seen. They managed to completely overrun the planet in the early hours of the morning, with divers falling back to the recently liberated Fenrir 3. Throughout Thursday, two new defenses began. We were expecting this, however, as the defenses were staged on the bug fronts Heath and the bot fronts Eris Pass, two of the planets on the major order. The first defense, that is to say Heath, had longer left than the MO itself, so it was functionally impossible to lose it in time. More concerning was Eris Pass. Its defense had an hour less than the Major Order, meaning that if we had lost the defense, we likely wouldn't have won it back in time. That said, we were keeping well ahead of both opposing factions on their respective attacks. Through Friday, we fought back both attacks, refusing to back down despite the best efforts of the two undemocratic factions plaguing our galaxy. The player count actually 
actually saw a slight boost during this time, helping us to spread managed democracy to everywhere that needs it. As the ending of the MO grew closer through the night, it was impossible to not feel a swell of pride, knowing we'd soon have more Seif trained in the glory of Super Earth's democratic ways. Through the night, two new defense missions began on either front on Lasath and Akamar 4. The bugs were not prepared for how much of a fight divers would put up, even our own computer systems couldn't handle it, and a discrepancy appeared between sources. The Galactic Map website presented an uprate of over 20%, while Helldivers IO was jumping between 6 and 12% rapidly. The defense on Lasath was not going as well with less than 10,000 divers, We'd need a significant boost to catch up. We were, however, spurred on by the Major Order to eradicate 3.14 billion enemies within five days. Across the Federation, patriotic citizens are doing their part for the war effort. The fervent faith of Super Earth citizens for the war effort deserves to be rewarded viscerally. To that end, the Helldivers are ordered to demonstrate the unassailable might of a united citizenry by destroying greater numbers of our enemies than ever before. While this is, as said, the largest target number we've ever seen, every kill counts, and within the first hour, nearly 10 million had already been defeated. Helldivers were bloodthirsty, and by Saturday night, more than 15%, nearly 500 million, of the targeted enemies had been defeated. Divers were showing a renewed vigor with this major order, scrapping bots and dismembering bugs faster than ever before. Despite this, very little actual progress was being made toward ga galactic liberation itself. The majority of divers, nearly 50%, were on the bug fronts Pandion 24, a planet we've been itching to take back since since we lost its defense back a few weeks ago. We were making gradual progress, expecting to take it back in less than two days. The same could not be said for Lasath, and as its defense drew to a close, divers tearfully saluted promising to free it from the clutches of the Socialist Toasters soon. Sunday saw the bugs try to force their way through Angel's Venture and Fenrir 3. We were more than ready for them though, more than 10% over the liberation rate needed for Angel's Venture. Once Angel's Venture had been defended, divers immediately moved to Fenrir 3. These defenses helped us move the Major Order up to nearly a billion with just under four days to go. We were making significantly better progress than the last Eradicate mission, averaging nearly half a billion per day, which is more than double what we were achieving last time. Obviously, it makes sense for us to be achieving roughly double given the bugs and the bots, but the fact that we were making more than double and almost 100,000 more than double is quite a big achievement and shows that we are very willing to spread democracy. That said, this series of Major Order has been very positive for the player count, seeing over a 20% increase over the weekend. By 11 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time on Monday, we had successfully defended Fenrir. While the defense of Vernon Wells began Sunday night, by the time it ended, too few divers had moved to reinforce it introducing us to a new mechanic. And this is what I mentioned earlier, but I'm gonna reiterate it here. As long as we control Angel's Venture, Heath, Vernon Wells, and Eris Pass, the four Seif planets, we gain a 25% bonus to all liberation. Having lost Vernon Wells meant that we would lose this bonus. In better news, we had passed 1.7 billion enemies defeated out of the 3.14 billion requested by the Major Order. This put us well over 50%, with two and a half days left to go. By Tuesday morning, things had slowed down slightly, and we'd gotten around 100 million more enemies, thanks to the Midnight Divers. Speaking of, I was made very aware by the comment section on my previous video that the term Midnight Divers does not actually work, as, you know, time zones exist. So for a lot of people that are playing around that time, it's a much earlier time or later time, depending on where they live. Um, however, the name is really fucking cool, and I'm going to continue using it because I like it. Also, around 3 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a new defense began on Turing, which divers quickly rallied on, getting over a quarter of the defense done within five hours. Thankfully, despite our loss at Vernon Wells, several divers took to restoring it, though progress was slow. A few important things have happened as of the editing of the video that you are watching right now. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of May 2024, and over the night, divers were gradually working through Pandion 24 and Vernon Wells. We were able to get each planet up to 72% and 61% respectively, and up to nearly 2.3 billion enemies for the Major Order. This is despite the player count once again dropping lower than ever. This is the major thing that I would like to note with this add-on. Over the previous weekend, player count had raised to nearly 100,000, but by 
today, Wednesday, it had dropped back down to just over 64,000, the lowest yet. For some last-minute planetary news, Pandion24 will be back under Super Earth Control by the airing of this video, with more divers quickly moving to Vernon Wells, and we are expected to control it again by Thursday, though if enough divers move over, we might have it by the end of tonight, so hop on, please. I am super excited to see what the developers are able to cook up with the next set of patch notes. I do think we have some very fun things in store. That said, that is where I'm going to leave the recap for today. So the ending of this recording got corrupted, and that's okay. I can say goodbye to you guys this way. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to go check out the stream that this originally came from, and please remember to be gay and do crimes. We'll see you next time with another Helldivers Tuesday. Bye-bye.